the question that has brought you here tonight is whether media freedom is under threat. Uh, my answer is it is under threat, but it has always been under threat uh, under the ANC. And we don't want a media tribunal because we don't want an institutionalized inquisition in the form of a media tribunal. <laughs> the one thing that I see in common between the media tribunal and the Protection of Information Bill, which don't otherwise have that much in common, is that their true origin being is, is perhaps the fear that each faction within the ANC has of the other. It is, no, but I'm sincerely trying to understand the source of this. It is, it is the leaks, it seems to me, uh, from different factions that trigger the aggression against uh, the press. It is the fear of leaks from competitors, both political and commercial, that probably drives the urge for secrecy and classification. If it's not going to go through in its present format, then I have an anxiety that there'll be a messy deal done in Parliament with a couple of the most offending passages going out, but the core of it remaining pretty much as it is. But damage control often results in a less than desirable form, and I don't want to call it a, a dog speech. So that's what we're talking no, about. No, 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 Dennis, you are still legislating under God, for heaven's sake, you're writing law. It can't be a completely negotiated piece of nonsense. I may very well end up at the end of this still voting against the thing, but by then, I trust that I will have removed the unconstitutionalities. And there are some, there are really bad stuff in it. You must let me describe that to what is really so bad about this. I know it's so bad about the bill. No, there's another thing that the people question, never know. The question, the question is, however, is whether, in fact, the bill is going to go through Parliament in an amended form, yes. and according to what Nick Dawes is suggesting to us, sufficiently, sufficiently pernicious to make it extremely difficult for all of the journalists present and beyond to do their job properly. Well, then the courts take over at that point. The ANC says it wants a debate on, on this, and it, um, it's, it's merely an, 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 an investigation. But actually, statements by senior leaders of the ANC that it is a done deal, it will happen. And the motivation for it is, like, if you look at the statements that have been made by senior leaders of the ANC and other senior leaders of the alliance, particularly the Communist Party, are not about that accuracy needs to happen. It is about, basically, that the, like the president has spoken about the fact that the media has gone overboard. Guardians need to be guarded. The media needs to be regulated. The, the Secretary General, of, the General Secretary of the, of the Communist Party, has said that the media is the greatest threat to democracy at this particular point. <laughs> and the President of the Youth League has, has, has said as much, and other senior leaders have, have said as much. And so, the motive for it, I mean, like before we even begin to look at the at the nitty gritties the, and the merits, it is the intent. What the people who are pushing for the media tribunal want. If you don't go to the media tribunal, would you accept some form of ombuds whereby better forms of sanction or restitution could well be available to ordinary members of the public? The, the current system that exists, the ombudsman system that's there with the press council and the press code, it actually does fulfill the function that Ben's speaking about. It is public. And like anybody can walk up to the, to the ombudsman and com com complain. And we put very prominently in our newspapers that you go to this place and complain. And people do complain. And whether you can, like, billionaires complain. And the ordinary person in the street complains. And then secondly, there is a law, in the, 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 there are laws in this country. There are courts. And, like, and the people who are complaining most about and like, the, 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 are people who can't actually can't afford to go to court. It's curious to me, this issue of this media tribunal, one of the complaints I hear is poor people can't go and vindicate their rights. God, who are these poor people? Me. Well, I'm sorry, most of them. <laughs> what can I do? Your yeah. rights curious. They're out really. Rubbish. The other day. Yeah. What can I do? Sorry, the other day. Right, and then with the editor. No, you can do more than that. You can do more than that. The same editor doesn't publish. So where am I? Right. Well, Please help me. If well, you, I'll yeah. tell you what you can do. <laughs> I'll tell you what you can do. Yeah. You can come to the courts. And people do that. My God. Oh, they How do. How many millions of them have to spend to come to You come a lot. Well, sorry. Let me, obviously, you don't know about the law. You may know about economics. But let me put this to you. People can come to the courts on their own. In fact, the other day on duty, an individual came and said there were newspaper articles being written about him he wanted to visit 
But the question was, eventually it was settled. But the question was, I would have probably decided that particular case then and there, as yeah. doctors do all would the time. Please, would you yeah. please tell the audience yeah. how many times you've explained in the public domain that I, as an individual, have access to your courts without million. You have access. And without lawyer. You have. You, 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 how many times you, have you explained? You, well, sorry, then why don't you talk to your, uh, your uh, colleague, the Minister of Justice, to improve legal aid so that people can get it. <laughs> The debate around the Media Appeals Tribunal and the Protection of Information Bill really isn't just a debate for journalists, it's a debate for all South Africans and it's absolutely critical that um, we engage with as many people as possible to take the discussion out and to make the points that, that this is an erosion of fundamental rights, not just the rights of journalists but the rights of all South Africans. So I think it's very important that we give people a chance to interact with those who are driving the debate and make their voices heard.